Coach, John Henry Gonzalez tonight, obviously. Pretty good out there on the mound. Uh, I thought he was outstanding. He had a little fastball command, had breaking ball change. He had a nice three-pitch mix, and uh, that's the guy we want to see every time he walks out there. And, uh, tried to, we tried to put an emphasis on that and challenged him a little bit and glad to see he, he rose to the challenge. What does it say about your pitching depth when you have your midweek guy going this strong at this point in the season? Well, it says he pitched good today. I mean, really, there's no guarantees in this game. and He's got to start preparing to go for next week, and that's the learning curve for the young guys. I mean, there's, they can all pitch off their stuff in high school, and uh, there's a lot of preparation goes on between right now and next week. And uh, But, I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we've got some – we have the ability to shorten games. We've been saying that. Coach, your team is still leading the nation in defensive fielding percentage. How do you feel like your team's been defense so far this year? You know, some guys said something about that last week, and they said, hey, you guys have been playing great defense. And it depends on how you classify great as. I mean, there's great means you're taking runs off the board to me and, and you're making the routine plays. I don't know that we're really there yet. Uh, I think we definitely still got room for improvement there, and it's something we need to continue to work at. And, uh, but, I, I, you know, the numbers are nice at the same time. There's some balls hit every day that we want outs on. So uh, that that's the run differential deal. It's not necessarily – and, again, remember, we're playing on carpet. I mean, that carpet's not too hard to pick it up off of. How did you feel like you often executed offensively today? You get the, didn't get the big RBI hit, like three, like three sacrifices. With yeah, the I thought, uh, you know, the one inning gave us a little separation. I think it uh, seemed like uh, Michael Davis drove a run in. Is that accurate? Yes. Grant Little drove a run in on a sack fly, and then Orlando comes up with a big hit there uh, somewhere in there later on after that. And the guys put together some good at-bats. We'll hit some balls right at them. We'll hit some, and some found some holes. And, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, perfect execution and not as good enough. Berglund went two for four tonight, had another good night to play. What do you think how he's maybe changed his approach here in the last couple of weeks? Seems like he's really coming on at the plate. I don't know if he's changed anything. He's a baseball player. He's been hitting the ball hard. Uh, he's been giving us good quality at bats. He shows up every day, prepares, gets ready to play. and uh, Really, really fun to watch all these guys compete a little bit. And uh, the, You can really tell. I mean, people, I've had a number of people say we just really like the way he plays with a little emotion. And we, we've got some throwback guys that, that really do enjoy playing baseball. You have Millen DH again tonight. Uh, just what have you seen from him here in the last couple of weeks to start DHing him two times in a row? He seems to be uh, getting his feet on the ground and seeing balls and strikes pretty well, moving on pitches he needs to move on. And, uh, you know, he's quite a presence. I mean, anytime you can put a guy like that in a lineup that can change the score with one swings, that's a lot of fun. And uh, he also brings some, he brings some, you know, you can start him, you can run him if you want to. And, yeah, usually guys that can hit like that can handle the battle or two. I mean, if we ask him to bunt, he could do that. And, uh, he's just been he's been steadily coming on, and I think I mentioned it the other day. We really wanted to get his feet on the ground pitching because he's really impacted the game at the back end of the game. And uh, But now he's getting a shot, you know, swinging the bat and uh, hit one ball hard tonight. Who do you expect to start tomorrow? We'll start Freeman, Caleb Freeman, Abilene, Texas. Coach, you hit and run a lot in Austin, and, and you talked about it a minute ago, but how do you feel like, as far as what it was today, but how do you feel like your team is, is executing at the plate and on the base pass so far? Really, it all starts with uh, having good quality at bats and separating balls and strikes. And uh, as, far as, as far as everything else goes, I mean, we had one situation tonight. Orlando really picked us up. We didn't, didn't do anything to execute, and then he drives a run in with two outs. I want to say it was Orlando. I'm almost sure it was. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's been okay. I mean, it hadn't been perfect by any means. It's something that never is perfect, and you're not going to be perfect. It's about picking the guy up. You know, that maybe doesn't get it done, and maybe the next guy does. And that's been baseball for a long time, is picking each other up. Anything else, Ron? You've been leading off here the last couple games. I guess how you feel like you've kind of adjusted that role here lately. Uh, it's really not much of a difference. We're just going out trying to win pitches, and every batter's trying to do that one through nine. 
how was it watching John Henry on the mound tonight? And what what did you see from? Him? Um, it was good. Uh, we he came out and competed like we expected, like we expect to do every week, like we expect all of our pitchers to do. So it was nice to see him come out and compete, really compete. Ryan, we haven't had a chance to talk to you since you guys played in Austin, but just whether it's sacrifices, hit and run, how do you feel like you guys have really performed, at least lately, uh, when Coach put plays puts plays on? Um, it really, I think it really helps out our offense and every guy. When every guy's putting a team at bat together and really working hard for the next guy, seeing more pitches, and I think it really helps the lineup and really helps our team score some runs. We're off on your second double there. I was hoping, yeah, man. <laughs> you take whatever you can get at this point, you know. Uh, yeah. You hit some hard, you hit some dinkers, and I mean, they fall, they fall, and it's all the same thing. So, <laughs> it's talk about the offense today. Obviously, uh, you know, I'll tell you, you're kind of you're, you, you get the bloop double there, three sacrifices driving. How important is to get that kind of offense on as, in, a, in a long season like this? Uh, it's important, you know, play the game the right way. The guys know man on third, you try to do a job. Um, and they did that today, you know, so they executed really well. And at this point, I mean, whatever the score was, we got to win, so. <clears throat> Talk about John Henry on the mound today and how important it is to get starts like this from him. Um, midweeks, very important, you know. Learned that my freshman year. It's a tough deal when you can't, you know, finish out a midweek. So uh, I think if you can have a solid midweek guy and, like John Henry, like he did today, then be all right. I feel like you guys have been getting more opportunities to turn double plays here maybe the last week or so. Mm -hmm. just kind of seems like it. Yeah, the pitchers are doing a really good job um, locating, executing, and um, just put the ball in play and let Mike do his thing, you know. Orlando, is there something you can pinpoint? Maybe it's, it, I guess it could just be baseball, but the difference between a game like the one you guys had in Arlington versus what you've had in the last four um, I think it's it's a tough deal, man. Whenever you show up to the field on a Tuesday, um, the vibes are different than a Friday. You know, it's just human nature. But uh, like today, we showed up and they had some good music going on for us, so it wasn't too tough to get the vibes going. But I mean, I think that's the only difference, really. You guys have executed really well, whether it's sacrificing, whether it's hit and run. We saw a lot of that mm -hmm. in Austin. Have you felt that way as well? That, that when you guys are executing like that, you're you're uh, really really tough to beat offensively. Well, that, I mean, that's the goal, you know. You just try to execute. Um, it's not always about hitting them out of the ballpark. You know, just do the little things the right way, and I think if we can do the little, th little things better, like Coach Tallock mentions all the time, uh, we'll be fine. So that's what we're doing right now. Can you talk about the, those lessons you learned your freshman year when those midweek games kind of did keep you out of the postseason? They did. It was a tough deal. We would always uh, handle the weekends okay, you know, went, uh, scrap up some wins, and then midweeks we wouldn't take care of them. And, and you kind of learned that, and I'm glad I learned that at my, fre my freshman year because it, uh, it was a big lesson, you know, so it's kind of a thing where I kind of emphasize the good vibes around the area um, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is. So, You guys, I know, don't necessarily look at the, the stats as much, but you're still leading the nation in defensive fielding percentage. Do you feel like your, your pitchers are really understanding that as well, especially today, like John Henry, just uh, letting the defense work like mm -hmm. you did? Uh, I mean, if you're... Defensively, I think that's probably the most important part of the game. And uh, as a shortstop, I mean, Mike, I know Mike has the same mentality. Uh, we just got to take pride in it, you know, and that's what we've been doing this whole year. So as far as all that goes, the stats, we really don't worry about them, but just kind of zone in and not get lazy on each other.